join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. We've got the fifth figure from the Attack of the Clones, and the second time we've had the Phase 1 clone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Phase 1 clone. That's just what I said. Um, yeah, this is the using the, the 3.0 mould of the clones. We'll take a look at the other two later in the video. Um, the original Phase 2 clone, and the, uh, the Mark II, the 2.0 version of the clone. This is using the, the most recent sort of Phase 2 clone trooper body um, with the addition of the removable helmet, which looks pretty damn good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually hoping to pick up a few of these. But decided to uh, decided to just start with one. I think it looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to having a good look at this one. I love the Phase 2. Um, it'd be nice to sort of see how this Phase 1 clone looks, especially in comparison to the others. A little right up there on the back. Let's bust him open and have a look. All right, here he is out of the packaging. Yeah, this is a nice, nice update for the Phase 1 clones. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't be upset about this being, you know, the favourable choice for all clones going forward. Looks like that's going to be the case with some of the uh, two packs that are coming out. I'm going to be using this sculpt. As always, take a look at the packaging. We're going to go through the accessories, take a look at paint applications, articulation, and then we'll do a peg test at the end. After that, we're just going to do a little comparison to the previous versions of the Phase 1 clone. So, first up, we have, you know, the sort of standard blaster rifle. Um, yeah, it's sort of cast in that sort of dark grey-brown plastic, so nothing to write home about there. Um, it's, just, it, it, it's fine. You know, it's like it's not a big deal. You know, if you want add to add a, add a couple of little elements to that, you can. Um, I myself have got a lot of spares from from older figures. You know, don't have both clones using both weapons, so swap them over with a painted one if you wish. Otherwise, not a big deal. Uh, removable helmet. I guess you class it as an accessory. So we'll get a nice close-up look at the helmet. Seems to be painted reasonably well. There's, there is sort of a little bit of precedence for, you know, helmets getting a little bit of, you know, it's 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 all these tight little lines in here, you know. it's It's got to be tricky, even for a computer. Um, but this one looks pretty clean. Maybe there's a tiny little bit of black sort of run through under the brow brow line there but otherwise I think it's pretty clean that I can see anyway maybe a tiny little black lead in that corner not something that I'm upset about whatsoever I think it's fine I think it's nice and clean looks to be a good a good fit for the clone it's a nice sort of strong one in comparison to the the previous version which was quite a soft plastic um, and it was glued onto the head, so we didn't have the removable helmet like we do with this one. So, accessories out of the way, let's get a look at this guy. Now, there's not a great deal of difference. Obviously, they're clones. <laughs> um, you know, you could take take the Phase 2 helmet off of the Phase 2, and you've essentially got the same figure. They haven't done anything different with the head sculpts. Still got the, uh, this guy's got a couple of scars, as you can sort of see at the top there. Which, you know, it's it's not a big deal. You know, I've, I've heard people complain, you know, why do they all have the same scars? And it's like, eh, it doesn't matter. Does it really matter? But yeah, the paint apps on it, it's nice and clean. It's a nice, it's a nice shiny white. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to show, but we'll take a look at the other ones shortly. Um, both of them have sort of flaws in the plastic. They've sort of worn over time. Um, I'm hoping it isn't the case with this one. So in terms of paint applications, you know, it's pretty much all cast in the plastic it needs to be. There's no real paint applications aside from the head, which, you know, again is... That's pretty nice. Looks like Tim Morrison.
but yeah, the rest of it is you know, more or less cast in the plastic that it's uh, needed. It's just black in the elbows, and uh, yeah, you know what? I have no idea, <laughs> so I'm not going to dig into that too much, because it's, it's, it's nice and clean anyway. So let's put the helmet on and see how that sort of sits. So that's a good look. That's a really nice, really nice silhouette. It looks looks more to scale than what we've had in the past, which is nice. It's got that nice shape to it. The, the vintage collection version was pretty damn good too. And the size of the helmet looks good on the shoulders. No sort of disproportionate sort of parts of the helmet there. It looks good when it's on. Really liking the the look and feel of this figure. See, the, I like the the markings of the mouthpiece. Of the sort of they really do sort of taper down to the corners for that frown look. And, you know, being partial to Mandalorians, the clone helmets are very much the Phase One clones more so than any are very much based on the Mandalorians. Given the Jango Fett was the template. But just the look of the helmet there looks really good. Uh, articulation wise, it does have a ball and socket in the top of the neck in two parts. We've got a ball and socket in the bottom of the neck, sort of in the torso. We have ball hinge in the shoulders. We've got the butterfly joints in there as well. So you can get those arms nice and across like that. We have an upper swivel, the upper arm there. We have a hinge in the elbows. Which allows good range of movement there. You've got to be a little bit careful with these straps. I did have one break on my, one of my previous clones, so he does not have that. But this time they are sort of set loose. They've been glued in place in the past. Um, so we've got to swivel the wrist, ball hinge as well. So we've got a ball joint in the torso there. A good range of movement. Got the ball and socket in the hips. It swivels at the top of the thighs nicely in the armor there and again we've got this loose knee joint so you can have him kneeling down you get that nice bend in the knee that hinge looks good you can even have it up but depending on how you want to display that which is what the other ones have failed to do in the past so that's really nice and of course the hinge in the ankles and the swivel rocker in the in the foot so He's good. I like that there is trigger fingers on both hands. That's one little detail I appreciate. That was something that was highly needed for the longest time. It's nice to change them up a little bit and be able to pose them the other way. Because in the past, I have just gotten a knife and sort of slit between the index and the middle finger to be able to get that finger in a blaster. But now they're both like that, so that's good. So let's do a little bit of comparison. The latest, re the last release was from 2020. And I don't know if you can sort of see on camera, but there are elements of this figure, such as the helmet, um, the elbow pad, which is there. It's just come, come up. It's just come off. And that's really stuck. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. <laughs> this one may get a little sacrifice once, he, uh, once I get a few more of these new ones. Um, yeah, the helmet's not quite, it's a little bit mis misshapen, but yeah, like I was saying, some of them have sort of discolored this, the helmet, it's a sort of really sort of dirty color. The shoulder pads are, uh, you know, slightly yellowed. In some parts of the legs and the knee pads, one more so than the other. For the most part, I think the articulation is pretty much the same. It's probably sharing quite a few different parts. No, it's not. It's because it's all... Because the upper arm doesn't have that joint. And what they've done with the new clone is they've used that sort of base, sort of skinny body underneath. And this armor piece is actually a soft, malleable plastic. So you can use use the base of the figure 
for for many figures. You know, you could use that on on stormtroopers and etc. Whereas this one's all solid. I still had the butterfly joints, but yeah, it was never going to allow for that much movement. So yeah, I actually think I'm going to retire this guy today. And remind me, that's the stand. We're going to do a peg test in a minute. So this is the first release from 2014, I think it was. So it was very different. Very, very different. I thought this was good for the longest time. And I think it did hold up for the most part. But um, yeah, now the, the head looks kind of small. I always thought it was a good shape, but... <laughs> This guy might be going into figure retirement too. Yeah, you know, the got the pins in the elbows, the pins in the knees. Yeah, he's gotten a little, little bit, little bit wobbly over the years and the legs. Just aesthetically, it's not, not as good as it once was. Yeah, a bit dated now, but that's okay. That's fine. He served his purpose. We've got a million more on their way. <laughs> so yeah, peg test. Got the uh, KR stand here, Kessel Run, made here in Australia. Available at KesselRunHair.com. I mean, this sort of this is gonna be a nice snug fit, I think. It does get in there nice and snug on that big black series peg. And that ain't going anywhere. Let's try and get him in a little bit, something a little bit more dynamic. You can play around. You know, he's standing up well on that stand. He's not going anywhere. You know a little bit more about the stands? Come and find them on KessleRunHair.com. That's where we sell them, sell them in lots. And uh, yeah, I'm using a lot of them at the moment. Again, many more on the way. <laughs> They're really good. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy checking out the Phase 1 clone. I'm very, very happy with this guy. I think he looks great. Loving the look of the helmet. Loving the silhouette of the clone. It's uh, just... just Shelf presence is going to look really nice. And i got a few more of these. I'd, I'd like to get four. Have a total of... Have a total of four, so three more. Um... Yeah, maybe maybe another another phase, phase two as well, but we will see. This is a good start. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. See you again for another video very soon. Um, you can give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Muchly appreciated. We'll see you again soon. May the force be with you, always.